Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? All right, we got the shirts, which means it is video games monthly time. And the question is, of course, do you nerd for retro games? We are talking all kinds of retro games, starting back from Intellivision and Atari, going all the way up to the PS3 and Wii U, and all in between. Yes. Now, Video Games Monthly, you choose which box mm -hmm. you want, because they have three... Three, four, five, and ten? And then jump to ten for that power pack, yeah. and you have to send those games back. No, they're them. yours to keep! So, that's pretty awesome. Games, retro games sent straight to you that you get to keep in your collection. And not forever. only that, but most of the time there's usually at least a one-up, which means an extra game. Yes. Sometimes there's a one-up, two-up, four-up, it's a gazillion up. We're, we're still hoping for that last one. Yeah. <laughs> and and something very cool about this month is it is actually... <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> It's his two-year anniversary! <laughs> so that means that we have been getting all kinds of awesome games from VGM for two years Count now. Count them two! And I don't I don't have any plans to stop no, anytime soon. I don't think we ever will. So, we get this bad boy open. Look, it's upside down! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Floyd! So, I, I'm very curious what's in here because there's some heft to this one. There is. And not a lot of rattle. No. A little bit of rattle. A little rattle. Now, something that she likes to do all the time is she likes to reach in there to surprise me. Sometimes I just things. give it to him. Sometimes I want to make him guess. Because I like to watch his wheels work. Okay. So, first and foremost. Oh, we got a another can. Coo do you call them koozies or cozies? I call them koozies. I think I've called them both. Yeah. Uh, now, these are actually pretty handy because uh, we use these all the time here at the house. So, I like getting that, keeping our drinks cold. And, uh, by the way, did you guys notice the little Konami code action down there at the bottom? I don't know. That's Morse code. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So. Your business card. So they give you a card, and this tells you, you know, hey, take a picture of the games that you got, share it on their uh, social media, and you might get some free games. And then this card is just as important because it tells you, hey, put the games in your list online so we don't send you any <laughs> no duplicates. duplicates. And ready for the one up? I'm ready. Boop, boop. So we got two. Two up. Nice. So, instead of those three, we get five games. I'm pretty cool with that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got some handhelders in here. And, uh, er, er, are you afraid of the claw? Er. Jim Carrey? <laughs> no, a hook. See, I'm doing a hook. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> er, because so... I'm doing the bad Carrie Elvis, you know, because he was like, er, the claw, aren't you? Never mind. <laughs> so we got Hook on Game Boy. One of my favorite movies. And, uh, okay, give us a line. I know what line you're gonna do. Rufy! Oh! <laughs> Alright, so Hook on the Game Boy. I have not played the Game Boy 1. I did play it on Super Nintendo, and it's a little weird. He moves, like, really slow. It's a gorgeous-looking game, hmm. but uh, he's a little slow. And I'm very curious to see how the Game Boy 1 plays out. You know, maybe it's a little quicker paced or something. Do you only play as Peter Pan? I, I didn't get very far oh. in it, so I don't know. I don't know if you, you got get to, to play as like Rufio or any of the other That would be boys. pretty cool. Or Hook. This is definitely one of those games that, because of the movie, I am not surprised to see a Game Boy version. I imagine this game was probably like on everything that had games at the time. Next one, you're going to need some pizza with this one. Oh, nice. <laughs> so Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan. And I do not see a I number. they had athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how the, that's how you get rid of the foot clan. Wow. 
<laughs> She's got the bad jokes. These are inside. some Tom level jokes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now I don't see a number on that label, so I'm going to guess that that's the first Game Boy game. And what I'm very curious about now is, will it play like a typical Ninja Turtle game? You know, that side scroll and beat 'em up, or is it going to be a little more rough like that original NES game? <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one except, like, uh, should be on the cover of a romance novel. <laughs> wow, yeah. It's very, uh... This... Yeah. <laughs> this is very cool, though. So we have Axe Babbler, and anyone who's a fan of the series already recognizes that name, because that is the warrior guy from Golden Axe. I was gonna say, is that anything to do with Golden Axe? And it does say right here, a legend. Of Golden Ooh. Axe. Now, since that is I love that game. since that is Axe Battler on the front, I'm guessing that may be as a legend of Golden Axe. Maybe you only get to play as him. Oh. So I don't think you'll get to use no, your girl. I like my girl. Uh, Tira Flair, I think was her name. Maybe I didn't know she had a name. But uh, it was a chick in a video game back in the day when chicks didn't get to be in video games. So I was super excited. <laughs> <laughs> but this will be very neat. Um, you know, sometimes you get like the very generic Game Gear games that uh, you know it's like, oh yeah, yeah, of course there's a Mickey Mouse one or whatever. But <laughs> this, well, I'm just saying that this, you know, yeah. Golden Axe is very synonymous it's with Sega. Sega yeah. So. I'm very much looking forward to this. And fortunately, we have Game Gears that we can plug into the wall that don't die immediately from all the batteries. <laughs> so we've got some nice, nice Ooh. selection of handhelds here. You should like this one. This is one of the series you like. Oh gosh, that doesn't narrow it down much. Let's do a Dragons. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I knew you'd like this one. Oh, Dragon Quest Three on the Famicom. So we do opt for uh, Famicom, Super mm -hmm. Famicom, and uh, Japanese Nintendo 64 Which Those games. have been fun to get too. And no, we do not speak Japanese or read Japanese, uh, but I don't care because, first of all, the Famicom games are great to get because they're always so colorful and the label art is always great. Now Dragon Quest, I love that series. Dragon Warrior on NES is the game that got me into RPGs. Now one of the cool things about the Dragon Quest series and uh, I'll have to check to make sure I get my facts straight. Now I believe that the Japanese government actually requested that the games not be released on weekdays because too many children were skipping school and too many businessmen were calling and stick to work just to play the game. So they had to start releasing them on the weekends. And so, uh, well, of course you love the, the, the poof, poof. Puff Puff Girls. Oh, puff, puff. Puff, puff, I always poof, want to say Poof Poof. Well, it says, it reads Puff Puff, but they usually say Poof Okay, maybe that's where I'm getting it from. <laughs> ah, bonjour, Anson. Can I interest you in the, um, oh, <laughs> how can I say? Poof, poof. 
Now, little, little bunnies. Now, Dragon Quest Three. <laughs> I do want to say on this game, when I was a kid, this one had me so enamored reading about it in Nintendo Power because the spoilers, I guess, like thirty plus no, years after the fact. <laughs> but in this game, you realize that you are back in time. Oh, cool! In Alfgard. And you actually visit a lot of the same places from the original Dragon Warrior or Dragon Quest game. But since you're back in time, you know, certain things haven't been done yet. Uh, there's a tunnel that goes down to a southern continent that is not completed yet. There is a wizard that, uh, <laughs> when you meet him in Dragon Quest Three, he's just a novice. He's learning the That's magical arts. So, I yeah, that. I'm a sucker for time travel stuff and time mechanics nice. and a sucker for RPGs. So, yeah, I just had to throw that out there because that was oh. one of the things that had me so excited. And, of course, that gorgeous Akira Toriyama artwork on there. So that's four games. We should have one more. One more game. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You are killing it with the Sega Master yes, System games lately. a box, lately. no less. A with box. The tabby. It's got the hanging tab. No manual, but holy cow. That looks in great shape. That cartridge is beautiful. Wow. I mean, there I is know. some... No, there's some wear on it. You can see... So it has been used, mm -hmm. at least. It has been used, because you can touched. you can see the, the scratch, well, scratch marks of it going in and out. But, uh, yeah, that's like... That label is immaculate. Wow. That is awesome. I love getting the cases yes. anyway. And... Sega Master System stuff, I mean, a lot of people are starting to get into it more and more, so I'm very happy to get mm -hmm. that. Plus, a game like Space Harrier, you know, talking about uh, Axe Battler and Golden Axe being very synonymous with Sega, yeah. Space Harrier is right up there with it. Uh, you know, it's got that, like, very 3D feel mm. to it. Uh, it's a fun, I think it was in arcades. Some neat, gra like, dragony looking things. So the question is, is this one of the games... It doesn't say anything about 3D glasses on here, so oh, yeah. so you don't get the shades. But this is very cool. The Space Area games are are a lot of fun to play. Um, I even remember playing Shinmu, and you could play Space Area on Shinmu, a game in a game. Ikkai yen ka. Yatte miru ka. So there's one more thing in the box and there's a note with it and it says oh drink you nerd nice. instead of do you nerd and look at this a Legend of Zelda cartridge canteen I'll let you open that that is great I love the little drink you nerd label instead on there. of do you oh, nerd oh my goodness so the question is did they send this because I know we'll have it was to look at some other videos or? yeah yeah, did anyone else get any good? Well, they did ask you on Twitter if you uh, had opened your box. That yet. is true. Oh my gosh, it's got the styrofoam in there, guys. So it's complete! All right, nice. That is so awesome. So it has a dust sleeve, and the dust sleeve even says Nintendo. <laughs> it is a gold cartridge, yes. which is awesome for Zelda. You got your little plug right there. And you got your little Ooh, straw. Alcohol and straws, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, this is that sweet, is so guys. Cool. Thank you so much. That is awesome. And obviously, they know how much you love Zelda, because I've yeah, seen these. Yeah, not and there's, only. There's other ones. I think there's Mario like Druck, Drunk Hunt instead of Duck Hunt. <laughs> so I've seen some other ones. And so this is the Legend of Zelda cartridge canteen. So this yeah, this is great. I love this. That is... Oh, thank you guys really so awesome. much. You guys are so awesome. We so, love you guys. Not only <laughs> for the awesome Zelda Canteen, but all of yes. these awesome games. We got some good stuff this time. Definitely. And of course, you know, the Game Boy games hook them up to the Super Game Boy, yes. you know, so you can really see all the, yeah. all the <laughs> old school graphics I'm excited on the to, TV. To do that. I wonder if... I am more excited about Hook than the Foot Clan one. I do love my <laughs> turtles. I do love my Ninja Turtles. But I'm very curious to see if it's got a special border. 
Oh, very true. So, or either one of them, actually. I love, that's one of the, my favorite things about plugging it into the Game Boy players, because I want to see if they've got a border. <laughs> Some of them have fun borders. And, of course, the uh, Golden Axe game to see how it fares yeah. on a handheld. Mm-hmm. And Space Harrier. I mean, this still looks gorgeous, yeah. by the way, just looking at the back. Yeah, it does. And, of course, Dragon Quest. Just to have that in the collection is awesome. Yeah, I knew you'd be excited when you saw that one. This is great. This was a this is awesome a great one. box. Man, I don't even know what else to say. It almost this feels like so... it was personally picked for us. I, You know, it might have been. <laughs> it feels so like thank you they very much. They paid attention to the stuff we say we like and then, you know, put those in there. All right. Well, before we ramble and gush on more and more than we already have. Uh, Nerdlings, please leave some comments down below what you think of any of yes. this. You know, any of these games if you've tried, if you have a canteen, if you guys have any recommendations of uh, what we should put in a canteen, <laughs> and if you think it's a uh, straw worthy or not drink to add in there. Gotta be careful of those straws. <laughs> <laughs> but leave a like on the video if you happen to like it. Definitely give Video Games Monthly a check if you haven't already. Yes. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just check them out, get your own box coming to you, and share with us what you got. Yeah. And hit that notification bell. Make sure you are subscribed. We're always putting new videos out. We love our unboxings, but we do all kinds of stuff. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know that a video has dropped and to see what we're doing out and about in the real world because we've got plans. Well, and don't forget, we've got merch. So go go to Tee Public and get the merch too. Well, I am gonna have to fill this up with something, and then we'll get some game time in. After all, drink you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Well, Tom. I hope you didn't start anything with that part because you're going to be pissed to know that uh, we're starting over. Are there breadsticks? I don't know where you're going with it. Olive Garden. The world that they live in. Sounds like Olive Garden. Olive Garden. <laughs> that time, I don't know where she was going with that. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Anyway, the because I'm more obviously interested in the hook than foot than foot foot clan. Once you try again, yeah. <laughs>